Hello, this is Barbara Eastwick and today we'll look at how to create a digital scrapbooking layout using Creating Keepsakes Scrapbook Designer. It's a user-friendly program, very similar, it's from Bruderbund. And first thing, we bring up our program and create a blank page. We'll choose our 12 by 12 size and finish. And now we'll go up to Add Graphic from disk and I'll find my quick page it's from Amy Teets I get mine from ScrapWow click open and it will stretch to the full size you'll notice that we're not going outside the printer border and now we'll add from disk and we'll go to find our photo there's my photo. Click open. And you can stretch on it by pulling on the corners where you see the arrows. If you pull evenly, it will stretch evenly and maintain itself without getting obscured. And we'll want to layer it to the back, so we click layout, layer, send to back and now our photo is behind our quick page and we can move it around still and center it and get it the way we want it and it'll move over there now we'll want to put on a title so we go to text tools custom titles and it's already set up for you to just begin typing so I will type in having fun at the amusement park and it's just as easy to backspace if you make an error and just fix it very simple to do you can choose one of the ready-made titles and you can also customize these but this one's gonna work just right and click OK and then it will appear on your layout and you can choose where to put it. It could go at the top, but I think it's going to look really good down here at the bottom. And you see the dotted line where the main text will go. And you can adjust it by moving it left or right, or you can even stretch it or make it smaller if you wish. And now we need some journaling. Actually, I'm just going to put a date on it. So text tools, text box, and you can make the text box as large or as small as you wish and I'm going to move it over here to the left and set it right down here and put a time frame for the layout and just type in September 2008 and to change the text in any way all you have to do is highlight it and you can make it bold and center justify actually I'll be right justifying it get it closer over to the picture and you can change the font here I'll change it to ancestry and I think I need it a little bit bigger so instead of 24 let's go with 36 and I'll be moving it slightly over to the left well, I think I'm going to have to move it over just a hair more. There we go. Now we can save it. I need to save it. So we'll export it as a JPEG. And to do that, you pick the folder you want to save it in and choose JPEG and name your name your layout. And then click Save. and there it is it's saved as a JPEG and that is how you would create a digital scrapbooking layout using a quick page and that's all there is thank you